Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. It's Monday. Uh, we're back at it again for another episode of the Daily Crypto News. We'll be with you all week this week, Monday through Friday. Um, really appreciate you guys taking the time to tune in. As you guys know, we'd like to take a couple minutes out of the day, try to go through some of the headlines in the crypto news and bring them to your uh, attention. See what you guys think about it as well. Um, the, you know, everything. Oh, sorry. <laughs> but as you guys know, I'm also one of the admins over here at Big One, as well as the Blockcast uh, with Annie Lynn and, and Lala. Uh, but before we get started, I'm going to have Scott tell you a little bit more about himself and then we'll, we'll get right into it. Yeah, for sure. Scott, a big one. I do the social media side of things, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, all that fun stuff. So happy to be here and yeah, excited to get it started. Our week started on a positive note, I'm hoping. I mean, there is one article, I guess, not so positive, but it depends on the way you want to look at it too as well, I guess. That's all least what I would say. Yeah, <laughs> it's always going to be a little mixed emotion in the market and, and what's going on. Uh, you know, right now, you know, even for people, if they tell you they're not bear or they don't think it's a bear market, ask them, are they buying the deal? Uh, yeah. And they'll re re tell you to probably no, right? Because uh, right now it's just a, it's a it's a lot of uncertainty in the market. It's been a couple of long plays that I see got put in today on some uh, uh, some projects like, uh, you know, um, uh, Luna and, and things like that. And, and, and also Sandbox, I've seen uh, over a million dollar buy in to that as well today, uh, just in the last, you know, like 30 minutes. But what I was thinking was like, it's, it's so crazy. Imagine if we were still in that full tag bull run where in the half and was taking pace, place right now. What do you think Luna's price would actually be at, right? Like this thing would probably be like four digit Luna, right? So uh, definitely, definitely I'm keeping an eye on certain things, but it's definitely a great time, guys. For everybody to kind of just take the time to do some research right like and find out a little bit more about possibly some things you didn't know before um and can definitely help help like help you out uh going forward but without further ado we'll go ahead and jump into the news today uh my first um article is actually going to come from bitcoin.com the headline reads instagram is exploring nfts to make them more accessible to a wider audience says the ceo so um the CEO is Adam Mossery, the, uh, and, and they're basically what he was saying is that, you know, he was like, nothing really did announce yet, but we're definitely actively exploring NFTs and how we can make them more accessible to a wider audience. Uh, he said it, he thinks it's an inter uh, interesting place where we can play and also uh, a way to hopefully help creators uh, on Instagram. So I think what they're going to try to do is capitalize off their, uh, you know, their their, their uh, influences that they have already on the platform of Instagram, and maybe some way turn making NFT collections more accessible between them and their audience. I think it'd be cool if NFT if Instagram transformed into some into some form of a marketplace where you could actually purchase the NFTs directly in app. Uh, that would be major. But uh, you know, he he didn't really want to say anything too much, but he didn't really like say he wasn't exploring the options. So uh, as as we keep looking around the space, I could you know I see more and more uh, you know uh, big big name companies, Instagram, Facebook, uh, you, you know, and other social media platforms starting to get involved with cryptocurrency. So still a lot of hype out there, and I mean it, it don't look like it doesn't look like it's going anywhere. At least uh, not when we're talking about it and people getting into par partnerships. Yeah, for sure. And I think it was. I, I forget who kind of mentioned it, but I guess this article, I just kind of want to, I'll read the article first and then I'll kind of explain um, my feelings on it anyways. It's in Bitcoinist. Uh, data shows Ethereum liquidations reached over 31 million in the last 24 hours alone as the price of the crypto declines below 3.8K. Uh, liquidation for ETH reveals that there's some heavy liquidations today as 15 million in futures has been liquidated in just the last four hours. Before taking a look at the data, it would be best to find, first get a basic run on, on how the Ethereum's future market works, which we're not worried about that right now. Um, but basically, as you can see above, the 15 million in ETH was liquidated in the, last, uh, in the past four hours alone, while double that was liquidated in the last... Uh, 12 hours and the reason why and of course the drop in value in ethereum and my thoughts on this i guess is everybody was kind of hedging their hopes on ethereum to be kind of like that takeover for bitcoin and i'm not saying it's not gonna be but in order to do a proper run i think there needs to be that amount of liquidation or people not in it to produce a run that needs to happen <laughs> And that's exactly what just happened. People 
are f loading their futures on it in hopes for it to run and they're judging it too fast before it's actually time for a run so a lot of people just got liquidated trying to hedge their bets in hopes that they would win and they definitely did not win they lost so so yeah it's almost like the late I don't want to say the lazy way. It's the um the easier way to compound your interest, right? Like uh instead of staking, uh you 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 long on on exchanges, right? And it doesn't really help the the liquidity out in a sense, right? It really doesn't. Um so um to see some of these things happen, uh so many people get washed out. It is it's it's sad in a in a sense, especially if your money's caught up there. Um but you know, it's it's also making people come back and pay attention to the market. I, I know a lot of people uh, that are are doing these longs, and and they're they're just more in a set it and forget it type of mindset, uh, where they they just know it's going to always come back, and, or 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 if they guess right, they're going to be up, and if they guess wrong, they have to stop to protect them. But the way these spikes are happening, uh, you know, these bots aren't really set up to protect them the way that they ultimately want to be protected. Uh, but I think you what you're saying is kind of. It's kind of one of the, the angles you can definitely take and say like, hey, look, for this thing to really go parabolic, it's going to have to shake some people out. Like they can't take everybody to the top, right? Like yeah. uh, they always have these dramatic shakeout phases right before, um, uh, you know, a big breakout. And I don't even think the breakout is near. I think, you know, we're just starting to see the beginning of the shakeout. So if people are already on edge, man, they'll probably have their back turned to cryptocurrency and two steps away and then hear about a big boom in the back and be like, oh! <laughs> what just happened <laughs> let me get my stuff uh, but no nah, it's pretty funny man i like that article uh to jump into my next one we're going to go over to coin speaker uh coin speaker um the the article reads synopsy network and the uh synopsy network to work alongside nakamoto games to enter metaverse so uh looks like um uh, nakamoto games is going to introduce their version of the metaverse it's going to be called nakaverse uh and essentially this uh version of the metaverse will uh, be with all the attention being given to the metaverse these days it's only right that synopsis network uh to get involved uh and as such it's not uh, so they're talking about oh so so basically what they're going to be doing they're going to be uh you know having their they're going to take synopsis network put it with nakamoto games they're going to put out this massive uh you know um Nakaverse, and then they're gonna try to compete with the likes of like a Mana or Decentraland, uh, where they're auctioning off land, hoping that people come in, uh, potentially get some form of an influence or maybe like a Snoop Dogg for Sandbox or or something big like that uh, to get some people in and, and and get into this this game of sector to play to earn game of sector. So, pretty good news for uh, Nakamoto Games. Yeah, for sure. And then my next article, the one I picked a couple of good ones here now. I like this one because I think this is kind of like a hint at trying to get new people into it, even though the market's down a little bit. Uh, BitPay partners with Simplex to offer zero fees for US-based crypto purchases for a limited time. Uh, BitPay, the world's largest provider of Bitcoin and cryptocurrency payment services, today, today announced a, a promotion with Simplex for residents of the United States to buy crypto seamlessly with no credit or debit card fees with the BitPay wallet app. In collaboration with Simplex, a Nuvea company and the leading fiat infrastructure for digital assets globally, BitPay app users can quickly and easily buy crypto fee free using the BitPay debit card, Apple Pay, or Google Pay for a limited uh, time. So, and that's amazing. Like if anybody, the old timers in the market right now too, like, they're of course going to want to load up a little bit more themselves at zero fees because some of these guys are, are always paying fees to buy what they want to buy. Right. So, and I mean, it says here, um, uh, Bitcoin cash, Dogecoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Shiba Inu, Rap Bitcoin, as well as five US pegs, stable coins, BUSD, DAI, GUSD, USDP, and USDC. That's impressive gonna be a lot of things man it's almost like who's competing to be the next uh square or cash app or apple pay or uh 
uh, Starbucks pay or whatever, right? Like uh, you're starting to see a lot of, uh, you know, exchanges and, and big players get involved in and in offering different, uh, you know, uh, rewards or different kind of uh, things to attract people to their to their platform. So a uh, lot of big, like I said, man, it's been a lot of talk uh, this in the last two weeks for the charts to look the way they look. The news has been gleaming with a lot of partnerships and and just like just they they've been coming one after another. And speaking of partnerships, this is going to take me into my next article, which is my last uh, uh, article. Um, this one kind of hits home for me. Uh, it's going to Coin Telegraph, uh, crypto exchange FTX. Uh, U.S. partners with four Washington, D.C. sports teams. So uh, the platform, uh, the NFT platform for uh, FTX U.S. Uh, is going to be partnering with, I know one is the uh, the Wizards, um, the hockey. Uh, yeah, so here it is. Uh, the official crypto partner of the Washington Capitals hockey team, the Washington Wizards basketball team, the Washington Mystics, uh, the Washington Mystics women basketball team, and the Capital City Go-Go basketball team. I haven't even heard of the, the Go-Go basketball team, but DC is famous for Go-Go, so uh, I wouldn't be uh, shocked at that too much. But um, this is a multi-year deal that they did sign. The integration of blockchain technology with sports experience has only just begun, uh, and together we're going to advance to an entirely new frontier, which it which will ignite the fans beyond what they can even imagine today, said Jim Stone. So that's the president of operations uh, for MSE. So it looked like this is going to be a, a good partnership. Uh, I started, you know, as you guys started to pay attention to a little bit, uh, FTX has been into uh, a lot of deals already. I know they have one with the U.S. Ver uh, University of Kentucky basketball team, uh, the Miami Heat Stadium. Um, so we're starting to hear a lot of uh, big name, uh, you know, exchanges get involved. Crypto.com, Lakers Arena, uh, FTX partnering with a lot of sports teams. Uh, crypto is going to be in people's faces for the next five, uh, three to five years, a lot more than they can expect, even if they don't want to hear about it. And here's funny talking about big sports teams or big sports players. Uh, how Michael Jordan will bet on Solana's NFTs with new app. Basketball legend Michael Jordan, Jordan will join the non-fungible token sector per report by Basketball Network. The six-time NBA championship winner with the Chicago Bulls launched a holiday company called Hair Incorporated, H-E-I-R Incorporated, because of course he has no hair, in cooperation with his son Jeffrey Jordan, Daniel George, and Jerome Smith. Hair was created to usher in a new era of digital culture. According to the project's official website, the platform was created and designed as a bridge between athletes and culture creators with their fans worldwide. The platform will be a membership based with NFTs as a backbone of the new digital experience that Hair seeks to enable. The Jordans and their partner claim to be believers in the power of Web3 and its capacities to empower the people they called culture creators and their supporters. The fans and athletes will be able to have an intimate connection via huddles. The website claimed their experience will be supported by blockchain technology, NFTs, and the huddles to offer fans access to exclusive drops, member-only videos, and more. The company recently raised $10 million with Lonzo Ball, executive president for the New York Knicks, William Wesley, and Alexis Ohanian from social network Reddit per Basketball Network. The Michael Jordan project will soon be supported by Solana. So that's pretty amazing move. Uh, Michael Jordan coming into the NFT games, something to definitely I'll go check out their website and see what they're all about. I was kind of, yeah. funny. I mentioned to you earlier about uh, Hezbollah. I was going to tell you who it was in the end. I didn't tell you before the news article, but I don't know if you ever seen it, but during the UFC in Dubai, there's these two little midget guys fighting each other. I know exactly who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah Hezbollah is that guy and he's starting his own NFT now as well. So I thought that was kind of funny and I wanted to buy into that as well. It's not minted yet or even started but i thought it was great that he was coming out with his own and they kind of look funny too to me yeah, he's, an yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. he's he, always he would fight for 20 million dollars but i don't see it happen no nah. uh but yeah I, I definitely um i heard about the Jumpman news earlier at nfts and salon and i immediately went to the 
prices on the charts to see if it was making a big difference and it didn't because i'm like man this is michael jordan everybody loves michael jordan like if this news doesn't get people excited what will right yeah <laughs> and here it is like if all these deals are happening uh you have to understand that some something is taking place for these things to happen which means that these partnerships are formed based off of uh you know um partnerships and they do raise a lot of money uh speaking of brands and nfts and doing collaborations recently we knew we talked about adidas doing their collaboration uh, on open sea and they were able to break in 43 million dollars in 72 hours so there's a lot of money getting uh um you know pushed into these things into these nfts and, and it's being made and, and even if it's just a uh, a test or an experiment for the big brand to see to see what it can do they're starting to see these kind of returns that they haven't been able to see in their business model uh since you know in maybe 20 years so i think that with everybody kind of like you know just kind of dipping their toe in there and dipping their toe in there and they're starting to see things work uh i think if Jumpman gets this collection going on solana i think you know that would be a really really uh dope collection i know that there's okay. a lot of jordan fans i have hundreds of pair of shoes of jordan that's like no lie at all um you know but you know it's just always a childhood thing that i always grew up on was a lot of jordan sneakers so um definitely super bullish news as far as the news goes but for the part of the uh the part of the show that used to be our favorite and now people just kind of like oh my god please don't tell us what's going on in day chris uh but it's for, <laughs> time for the uh, recap of the total crypto market uh we're gonna jump over to trading view today uh to go ahead and get the latest of what's going on in the total market cap uh as of right now the, the, the market cap sitting at 2.186 trillion um dollars uh so this is down um kind of like uh the whole weekend we got like a you know a saturday like mini pump right and then, and there's a famous saying or not like a famous saying but there's a saying never trust the weekend pump right uh because they usually the weekend is short so the the short the weekend will be short right it means that it will be a sale uh, it's a lot of things to get into but uh you know like just you know it never trust the weekend pump but right now we got the total market cap down uh like i said 2.18 uh, we're going to look over and see what the Bitcoin dominance is right now. Bitcoin dominance is at 40.46. Guys, we've been talking about this on this news uh, broadcast for over a month now. Be careful. I mean, just be cognizant of what's going on with dominance factors. Right. And what we're talking about needs to happen. Me, I'm a big fan of uh, these decoupling uh, from Bitcoin a little bit to kind of allow like uh, a little bit more. Um, uh, even flow of the liquidity, right? Like I don't like everything being so tied up in one thing. So right now we got the dominance down at 40.46. I'd personally like to see it go below 40 and stay there. And then we're going to jump over to the Ethereum dominance. Ethereum is still at 21.34. So even with some of the shakeout happening right now um, and, and Ethereum pricing may be going down, they're still keeping that same little support that they kind of got themselves back up to, which is the 21%. And that's coming up from uh, 18%, 16 to 18% uh, towards the beginning of the year. So they're still kind of pushing uh, forward. I think, you know, there's still a lot of things that can happen in the market. I think this week right here, Scott, is going to be a big week in cryptocurrency. And not as far as like there's going to be a pump or a dump. I think there's just like a, it's going to be a lot of um, it's going to set the way for what's really like it's going to transpire going forward, right? Like, uh, and, and, you know, give us more news. I mean, because we need more data to process what we think is going to happen just looking at charts. But as always, guys, man, we appreciate you guys being with us today. Uh, hope you guys tune in tomorrow. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know uh, what you guys think about what we're doing. Um, as you guys also know, we're doing a bunch of big, uh, big one giveaways this week in our Twitter spaces, uh, on our Reddit, as well as uh, Discord. So just be on the lookout. Make sure you're following Big One Exchange on Twitter uh and, and be on the lookout and 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 scott will, uh I'll keep things posted up so you guys can win some things during the holiday season yeah congratulations dane uh wanamaker and zeus for winning the actual bunny nft as well so congratulations to that you guys uh dane wanamaker uh won a hundred dollars us worth of space Land. so congratulations to him it's always good to know and tomorrow of course we'll have the new competition coming out. So super excited. And I hope you guys have a good start to your week as well. And of course, we'll talk to you guys all very soon. Till the next time, guys. Peace. Have a big one. <laughs> have a big one. Hey, give me one.